And is it tough for Vince not being able to tell his family that he's alive? Absolutely tough. I mean, that's, that's the core of the character, really. Having this kind of... Um, the heartache, which can only be redeemed by the fact that he can watch over them as the cape. And that's... Um, it's kind of a... It's a like, that's the most... That's the thing that drew me to this, this, this whole thing, is that there's such a dichotomy there, and it's such a, that's a pull there between the... And it always is the case between the superhero and the man. There's quite a gruesome scene in a car towards the, the start of the episode. Yeah. Is that a shape of things to come? Is it quite a gory show? I wouldn't say it's gory. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's a corrupt environment. It's a corrupt city, and with corruption comes crime, and with crime comes violence. But it's stylized in such a way that I don't... I mean, this is, this is about a story uh, about a guy wanted to reunite himself with, a, with his son. It's written by a guy who uh, was inspired by his own son. And so I, what he wanted was for a situation where guys could sit down with their sons, that their families can sit down and kind of enjoy it. So I don't think you're going to see people's heads getting cut off. Um, but there is, like, I think it traverses that line really well, so that there's something in it for a whole spectrum of age groups. Okay. And there's a, another character called Chess, who's a bit of a bad guy. Is that the kind of theme throughout the first season? It's the two of them against each other. Well, we've only read the first episode, and it could go anywhere from here, but um, he's certainly the, the linchpin in, in the destruction of Vince's character, in my character. And so in order to, at this stage, that's the guy that he's focusing on, in order to clear his name. Okay, well, thank you very much.